Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today we're gonna turn this light post into a scary ghost. Check it. So I wanna build this yard Halloween decoration. We have this light pole here in our front yard. And so my thought is to build some sort of ghost silhouette around it. So this light will shine through the eyes that we cut out of some plywood and then we'll drape it with a cloth. And we're gonna use all materials that we can get from a two value hardware store. Here we go. We got a sheet of OSB that I had them cut down the middle so I could get it in my car. And I got some various things that'll help us out. Picked up some rope, maybe we'll tie a noose, we don't know. I got some hose clamps in case we need to secure things to the pole. We got some paint. So we got this big drop cloth right here and we thought we could kind of shred it and tear it up and make it look dirty with some, with some paint. And we got some staples for the staple gun in case we need that, some zip ties and some blades for the jigsaw. We're going to draw a silhouette of of a ghost head and shoulders. And I'll do that with a Sharpie and then we will take the jigsaw and cut that out. We're winging it, we'll see what happens. So the thought is to just like kind of get the shoulder started. We're gonna come in and there's just gonna be a long uh, narrow section right here that will go into the ground and then we can use ties to strap that to the pole. We're just gonna work out of the back of my vehicle today. I'm just gonna cut this out with a jigsaw. It doesn't have to look pretty. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. So now we need to cut out the eyes so the light will shine through. And this is the most important part of the thing because this is where the light is going to shine through. So I kind of want them a uh, slightly evil look. So I'm going to come in from an angle and then kind of swoop them out. So just kind of sketch this here. So something like that and then we'll remove. This is the drop cloth that we picked up from True Value Hardware. We're gonna use that as the torn up cloak, but we're also gonna use it as a drop cloth as we paint this. So now the paint is dry. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna staple this on here and then kind of cut it around and we'll see if we can fray it to make it look old and worn and Halloween. Ah, yeah. So we'll, we'll kind of cut this and fray it so it, it blows in the wind. Now we got them all, all frayed and scary looking. Let's age it, make them look spooky with some spray paint. Paint the inside of the cloak black. There we go. I want to make the front a little bit more fringy. And on a windy day, this is going to look awesome, but even make it more fringy. So this is just foam insulation board and it cuts real easy. So I'm just gonna take my knife here, cut through. I'm just gonna scallop the edges here. So my thought is we're gonna paint this gray and then we'll take some black paint and a paintbrush and paint inside here so this sticks out a little bit more. Just fill that in with some black paint, give it some, some contrast. And then Eric thought we should take some 
black spray paint kind of go around the edge kind of give it some some definition here as our sun goes away So I have this attached to the board here and I'm just going to stake it into the ground. So I got some zip ties from True Value. Attach the board to the pole. Now all I gotta do is wait for it to get dark and light that thing up. I would like to thank True Value for supporting Make Something and sponsoring today's video. True Value hardware stores are made up of independent retailers. That means you get the quality and expertise of a well-known retail store with the hometown feel. All the materials in today's project came from my local True Value hardware store, and that's Honduras Hardware here in Toledo, Ohio. They've been around for decades, and I remember going here with my folks as a kid, so today's project is extra special. What I love about this project is the placement within our yard. It's not in your face, and it's not no noticeable right away and it kind of sneaks up on you as you drive by. One thing you do want to make certain is that the light bulbs don't get hot in your light pole because you don't want this cloth catching on fire. So if your lights do get hot, try to find some LED replacement bulbs. So this project started off with a very loose plan. We were winging it all the way through and I think it came out fantastic. I love it. It looks super creepy in my yard. This is a project that anybody can do with a few basic tools. All right, folks, that's it for today's project. We'll see you next time. As always, be safe, have fun, and make something.